glissandos going up are great. Glissandos going down, just as much fun. But turning around either at the top or the bottom of a glissando, or both, can really be a little bit trickier. So let's take a look at that, right? The glissando up, okay. The glissando down, fine. But we want to connect them. So if we're going up with our second finger and we want to come down with our thumb, there are two things we want to try to avoid. One is the sense of stopping and restarting. We want it to sound smooth. No sense of stopping and starting. So that would be sort of a hole, right? We don't want a hole in the glissando. And then the other thing that we'd like to try to avoid is what I call the splurt. And here it is. Those extra accents that happen when we change direction, you don't have to do those. Glissandos are way easier than that. And let's talk about just how to make them easy. So a turnaround at the top of a glissando. You're coming up with your second finger. You're gonna go down with your thumb. Here's the trick. Start your thumb coming down before your second finger is finished. If you miss a couple of notes, if there are a couple of notes in there that don't get played, that's okay as long as the sound doesn't stop. You have to keep that sound going. So, right? Come up and then start down. Now you can practice that by itself, just the little turnaround. Go up, go down. Before you feel like you get all the way up to the top, start the way down. And you can practice it until it's nice and smooth. And make sure as you do that you're not pushing extra hard on the way down. Just let your thumb start easily and softly. In fact, it's always good to practice your glissando softer. It'll save your fingers, right?